the Brown Bears and try to get one here today and then see what happens next week. Opening faceoff is going to be won by the Bears and somehow holding on to it, Kevin Sweeney. What a job, fell right on his rear end, took a couple of shots, but still managed to keep possession. Well, the defensive stalwarts for the Tigers this season. We'll let Michael Bath, Cooper Kistler, Pace Billings, Nick Crowley, those have been the rocks of this Princeton defense. We'll with the John Ficaro as well. Here's Wolfram looking to attack again. Plenty of time on the shot clock. We'll rotate it all the way top of the box. Here's Corsi. Trying to find some space down that left alley. Reverses back towards the middle. Now gives it off to McLean. Tight angle. We'll give it back to Wolfram. Bears look on that left side and in. Quick shot with some pressure. And the Bears get on the board first thanks to Spencer Hughes. Spencer Hughes notches his 10th goal of the season. And that puts the Bears up early 1-0. Nice start. For this one to Brown, they control the open. And Wolfram with the backup here for the Bears. McLean checks two. Now he'll initiate from the near side. It's right around the pole and fires it home. An absolute BB from Aiden McLean. Bears' leading goal scorer finds the back of the net for his 23rd of the season, and Brown getting off to a good start here this afternoon against the 13th-ranked Princeton Tigers. Take another look at it right there as McLean just whips that one past or Blackburn that got a stick on it. Active sticks by the Bears. Again, they've been solid defensively. And a heck of a first half against Cornell. Good shot there from Mackesy, eaten up by Terrio. Mackesy going high to high that time, but Staten turns it over as Kabiri gets the cost turnover. Kabiri feeds it across. Coming in with some pace was Chad Palumbo. Didn't have any room to pull the trigger. Palumbo will send it out high now for Tucker Wade. Wade. Kramer picked up this time by Barons. Bounce pass was behind his man, Mackesy. Witt fighting for the ground ball, still a live ball, scooped up in the end there by, it looked to be Oliver Bly. Bears in transition on the run and off the pipe from Barons. And he'll come all the way near midfield, scooped up out and extend himself there. Flag up, not sure Princeton was offside. Or maybe the Bears were offside. Either way. Tigers will go man up at the next dead ball. And it comes on over to Tucker Wade. Rejoining the fun here is Cameron. Cameron now gets past his man. Left-handed shot. Save made by Terrio. As Terrio getting it done early on today. Look here at that save. The officials were sent. The Bears killing off penalties at a 77% rate. Best man down defense in the Ivy League so far this season. Fourth nationally in terms of numbers for the Bears. Quick ball movement here by the Tigers. Again, just the 30-second man up already down to 10 seconds. Mackesy with it. A little flip pass. They get it back up top. Step down shot. Save made by Terrio, who is dialed in early on as he robs Braden Saris. Connor Terrio seeing it well early in this one. People's goalie had a heck of a rim dodge, but still in some trouble there. Just nowhere to go. Lockdown defense there by Princeton's Pace Billings. And that one is in there for the second of the day. Spencer Hughes, a rocket. Boy, what a start to this one for the Brown Bears. Mike Daly's team has dominated this first quarter against the Princeton Tigers. And that'll bring us to a timeout here in the action. We'll step aside with the Brown Bears leading Princeton 3-0. Hughes with two goals. We'll be back with more from Bull. McLean down left alley, nowhere to go. Peels back out after giving it up to Corsi. Corsi shake and bake from behind the net. Question mark dodge won't go that time. Comes back towards McLean. Couldn't get the ground ball, but Spencer Hughes does. Keeps the possession alive for the Bears. Never changed hands, so the shot clock down to 35. Inside feed, Locke with the finish. Ben Locke makes it 4-0 Brown. 
Well, the Bears are playing like a team that is desperate, and they are playing really well here in the first half of this one. 4 nothing, they lead the 13th-ranked Tigers as the goal by Ben Locke, his 12th of the season. Take another look at it. Pinpoint passing here from Hughes. And the quick finish there from Locke. Thing of beauty for the Brown. With 41 points this season. Here's Mackesy now initiating from the near side. Samari Staten pushes him right into Cave. Ball put on the turf and coming away with it was Palumbo, but it looks like it was an inadvertent whistle that time. Yeah. Great defensive teamwork there. Cave and Stat brick wall out there for the Bears so far early on. Now the Bears can get set up again. Bears getting goals two from Hughes, one from McLean, and one from Locke. Here's Locke now. Trying to get inside and finishes again. Second straight goal for Ben Locke. Good speed dodge that time, just dusted the defender. The Bears pushed open a 5-0 lead. Take another look at this goal by Locke. And he does this all on his own right here. A little bit of confusion there for the Princeton defense. Milan's gonna, if it gets to halftime and they're still struggling, a couple of wise words for them. It'll be up to the Bears again to put together a full 60-minute performance. If they keep up at this clip, they'll be fine. And that has been the challenge this year. Here's Scando. His dodge shut down. Gives it off to McLean. Now back to Axis Wolfram. Out to the far side. Wertheim. Shot clock down to 10. Trying to shake and bake past his man. The feed inside and a score for Locke. It's a natural hat trick. Well, you don't see that too often. Three in a row for Locke. As you point out, a natural hat trick. Great pass and great finish by Locke in traffic. Not easy to do against this Princeton defense. Watch the catch and finish here on the inside. First of all, perfect pass from Wertheim. Tiger still on that perimeter, working around the box. Coming to his Tucker Wade. Wade trying to drive past Staten. Nowhere to go. Now it's Mackesy having him attack from X now. Colin Burns looking for the feed on the inside. Behind the back, and no, 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 says Terrio. He is seeing everything today. <laughs> Trying to fool Elmer Fudd. So here goes Jackson Wolfram. Back to work for the Bears. McLean trying to keep the offensive explosion trending in the right direction for the Bears. Spencer Hughes, next goal would give him a hat trick. Fires it towards Jafricaro, that one. Maybe two telegraph that time from that distance. Again, Jaffer Carl, one of the best in the league. Looking for the big pole goal, but denied again as Pace Billings trying to take matters into his own hand. Bears now in transition. Colin Hart has the ball dislodged. Lock there to keep it alive for Brown. Oh, nifty little pass, but yeah, Charlie Cave was onside. Good communication, but came on a little bit too late. Ling's a little helter-skelter there for both teams. Their ball movement here looks a little sharper for Princeton. They get it to Kabiri. He has to go to X. Fires it back up top. Flag up in the air. Princeton will go man up. Kabiri now from behind the net. Back over to McAsee. Down to 25 on the shot clock. Dunphy trying to free up his hands and fires that one home. Tigers finally get on the board. We'll see if that gets this Princeton team jump-started as John Dumpy scores his seventh of the season, first of the day to get the Tigers within five. And it took almost a quarter and a half for Princeton to get on the board here today. Now 22 minutes and change. This one's from long range, too. Yeah, too many bodies in front. Don't you, Madelon, talking about how they could work in harmony at times, could give you different looks. One's not working right. They can go to the next man in line, and then some. We've taken five of the nine face-offs thus far. The Tigers on the man up for the second time today, and they make the Bears pay. Getting in too close, Chad Palumbo with his 15th of the season. So Palumbo finds the back of the cage and the man up, and now the Tigers right back into this thing, down 6-2. to two, and 
momentum has shifted to the Princeton sideline for the moment. Yeah, two goals in 30 seconds for Princeton. Dunphy and then Palumbo. See if the Bears can get back on track here, though. He's sharp and quick with the extra man. Worth on. It's an out wide. Is on for this is Forrest Dimitri, one of their man up specialists. And where's the 22? Hughes. Step down. Beats Gian Fricaro. Hughes with a hat trick. Hughes looked momentarily to his right and I think moved the defender just enough to create that space to get the shot in. Take a look right here. Just bounces it home. So a good ant. Plenty of time on the shot clock here for Princeton. It's Kabiri. Gets it back up to Cameron. McAsee waiting for it. Top of the box begins his dodge. Trying to get around Cave. Hands free. And again, another save by Terrio. Lock. Will now work from behind the net. Takes the hit. Reverses it back to Dimitri, who's out there. Trying to force his way in. Gets it to Lock. Just couldn't get rid of the ball in time. And oh, boy. Silly foul there from Wolfram, who took out Gianfrancaro. Oh. Uh, Princeton will go man up. The defensive stand or the Tigers were going to perhaps get multiple man up goals. They're still down a man though. So, oh, oh bad turnover there. Being had it robbed by Saris. Last thing the Bears wanted there. They had done so well to get that ball back. 44 seconds left. And that one through the legs. McAsee finally gets his costly turnover for the Bears after they get the shot clock violation. They were just about to clear, but the turnover and the Tigers with another crack at it, Mackesy gets on the board. Yeah, just a little bit too nonchalant there was being trying to send it over the defender, Saris. And that one comes at 14-18 and still 38 seconds left in the two-minute non-releasable to Wolfram. Critic Ram and what's left in this quarter. With this penalty to Wolfram, two shots have really evened up in this one, 2-21-19 in favor of Brown. Shots on goal, 12-11 in favor of the Bears. McAsee chased outside the box that time by Sachs. Feed inside, off both posts and in. Quick turnaround shot that time. I believe it was Tommy Barnes. It was Barnes' fifth of the season. Just turned around, fired it off the right post. Off the left post and into the net. Ping, ping, Terrio. Right. The faceoffs, a slim advantage for the Tigers, 7 6. We'll extend that to 8 6 as Sandoval, who didn't start the game, it was McMeekin, who's kind of been their main man this. Shot and a save made by Terrio as he denies that attempt from Tucker Wade. And a loose ball eventually scooped up by Charlie Cave. Terrio under some pressure. Nice little bounce pass to Cave. But already 10 seconds have gone by. Bears got to hurry to get it across, and they will turn it over again. The aggressive ride of the Tigers, and oh boy, what a hit. As that was a heck of a shot put on by Trey Taylor. Oh my goodness. All back to the Tigers. McAsee will send it to Kabiri. A good look and through the wickets there. Sean Cameron makes it a two goal game. Well, the Tigers haven't been able to beat Terrio up high, so they figure they'll go down low. And Cameron goes, goes between the wickets. And the Tigers score the first goal of the third. Take a look there. It goes five hole with it. Comes the fifth goal scorer of the day for Princeton. Switch out personnel. Tanner Burns on that far side. We'll give it up to Wertheim. Down the left alley he goes. Now delivers it to Wolfram at X. Jackson Wolfram, the talented freshman, peels back the other way. Works with Locke. Locke trying to curl around. And now it'll be Wertheim. Oh, nice dodge to get inside. Has on the doorstep the opportunity buried by Burns. Yeah, Tanner Burns does a nice job, and he takes a hit. After scoring the goal, going down low to beat Jump for Caro. And the Bears stop the bleeding. 
Just the fourth goal of the season for Tanner Burns. And a great dish there from Wertheim. Burns knew he quickly rotated around to the near side. Tucker Wade. Well, Maxey trying to get free. Bears doing a good job to switch off there. Wit and Cave behind the back feed and a score. A nifty pass and a solid finish as Tucker Wade buries it. First goal of the game for Tucker Wade, his ninth of the season, and the freshman pulls the Tigers back to within two, 8-6 Brown. Watch the pass here. A little behind the back, and then Wade, the quick finish. Season average. Now down to 25%. And it comes across far side. Now up top, Mackesy looking for Kabiri. And it's been a very balanced Princeton attack, but Mackesy stings the corner there. Second of the day for him, 27th of the season. Well, Coulter Mackesy. They kept him quiet early, but he's starting to come on now. Second goal of the game for the junior from Bronxville, New York. His 27th of the season. Let's take another look at it right here. Uh, Kabiri just a little quick flip of the wrist there, and bang. Stings that corner. Terrio beat high. And now Princeton Bears trying to get off the floor here. They're taking a couple of big hits from the Tigers. Curling around, here's Cameron. Continues to run with Staten chasing. Kabiri. Oh, slips past his man. The exit goes. Tigers are trying to sneak Chad Palumbo on the inside. Burns fires it in, and we're all knotted up at eight apiece. Colin Burns with his first of the day, 18th of the season. He didn't put too much on that, but Terrio didn't see it. Catches the far side of the net, and we are all even at eight. Take another look at it. Yeah, it's all about the placement Burns had. Taylor hung up. Taylor goes out the challenge and just sends it over. And the Bears did big six turns. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Shot clock not a factor here down the stretch in this final couple of seconds of the third. Wolfram wanted to unload the shot but lost the ball first. The ball still loose. Dimitri comes up with it, takes a couple of hits and draws the flag, which has three seconds left. Well, that's a big moment. And the unreleasable penalty. There's got to at least come up with one here. Here's the ball back of the stick of Wertheim. Now Burns. Dimitri. For Hughes, down to 15 in the penalty. Wertheim. Now the Bears starting to rotate in different patterns. Wertheim steps into it. Can't get the shot off. McLean, who's had to field a couple of tough passes, and the Bears turn it over. And the loose ball is going to go out of bounds. Last touched by Colin Freer. And McLean zips it in past Gian Fricaro and the Bears in the lead once again. Well, technically not a man up goal, but the Bears score shortly after the penalty ends, and they come up with a big one to regain a one goal lead as McLean pots his second of the day. Just a minute two into the fourth quarter. Total step down there for Aiden McLean. The high heater beats by the Bulldogs. Charlie Cave with the cause turnover, races it ahead. And now the Bears, an unsettled situation, a chance with numbers in their favor as Princeton scrambling to get back. Now McLean will regroup. Spencer Hughes up top, already has a hat trick, reverses back, puts this one on Cage and in! What a dodge from Spencer Hughes and a beauty of a finish to put the Bears back on top by two. Fourth of the game for Spencer Hughes. And like you said, what a dodge. He stopped on a dime going to his left, spun back to his back to his right, and rifled one home. An unsettled situation. And Spencer Hughes getting the defender moving laterally creates a set. Much leg into that one as he kicked it free. I might give the Bears a lot of credit. They they got smacked in the face by adversity here after Princeton came all the way back from down six to tie it, and they've responded with the last two goals to regain a two-goal lead. Now do they have the resolve and the discipline to finish this one out? 
Not quite a 60-minute performance yet for the Bears. But one of their better ones of the season so far, but plenty of time left, just under 13 to go here in the fourth. It's McLean. Let's scan Doan back on now. McLean watched by the pole of Cooper Kissler. Kissler loses, loses track of McLean. The jump shot and in! Jean Fricaro had a piece of it, but not enough. McLean with a hat trick. Third of the game for McLean, and you're right. John Fercalo saw that one all the way, but I think it went off of his stick and it just trickled over the goal line. By the time he smothered it, it was too late. And McLean gives the Bears a three goal advantage. One again, once again, last three goals in this game scored by the Brown Bears. Now, Scott, I know you and I both see a lot of basketball, and how many times you see a team get up by 20, 25 points, the team comes storming back to tie things up or get within one or two and then can't complete the comeback. Does Princeton have enough left in the tank? Because with another look there, put his man in a dangerous spot. Wolfram, a couple of opportunities, and now Princeton a chance to make it a one goal, excuse me, a two goal game again. And the goals came fast and furious for the Bears, about a minute and a half span there. We got goals from two from McLean and one from Spencer Hughes. Now Princeton on the attack. Palumbo up top. Step down and in. That's getting a whole piece of that one. Tucker Wade for the second time today. Wade finds the back of the cage. Stops the bleeding momentarily for the Princeton Tigers. They are not dead yet, folks. 11-21 to go. Two goal game. Uh, you know, there's no quit in either of these two sides. Too much on the line at this point in the season. Pick up. Ivy League shot leader. Aiden McLean, not shy. He lets it fly. Wolfram up top for Scandone. The Drexel transfer trying to get free. And now we'll reset with 40 seconds left on the shot clock. Trying to draw his man out high. Gets the jump on him. Scandone, the step down and in. A rocket from Ben Scandone. And the Bears lead again by three. Uh, what a play by Scandone. As you mentioned, he backed out to reset. Sucked his man away, and he just blew right by him and had the advantage and fires one home to put the Bears back up three. Sometimes there's just no substitute for pure speed. And Scandone got that big running start and then right past the short stick and buries it for the Bears' 12th goal of the day. The fourth of the season for Ben Scandone. For the Bears, Still plenty of time, though, for the Tigers. Ten and a half to go, and they win the faceoff. Right off the faceoff, McMeekin. Quick ball movement here. The shot and a score for wow. the Tigers. They don't need much time at all. Burns for the second time today. That was fast. I mean, they win the faceoff. They get it up. Burns puts it home. Bing, bang, boom. Tigers get it right back. Second six, of the day for him. Six seconds in between goals there. One from Scandone at 4.30, and then at 4.36, Burns the answer for the Tigers. 12-10, Bears lead trimmed to two. Well, the Bears took a tumble there, Staten, but unable to take advantage was Tucker Wade. Wade now will keep it on the outside and work behind GLE, cave with them. Both of them fall down, and oh boy. You know, laundry I, flying everywhere, Scott. I thought that was a, a situation where Wade stopped in his tracks and, you know, the defender couldn't do anything, couldn't stop. Take well, another look. I guess the question is, did Cave get his stick down? Yep. See, the stick came yep. down okay. and then he stepped on it. Okay. That's going to probably go on the penalty. Tigers looking to get it inside and they get the dunk home. Tommy Barnes, second man up goal of the day. Second goal of the day for Barnes. Both of them on the man up. And the Tigers with two seconds remaining on the penalty. Score the goal and pull back to within one. It's a tough pill to swallow for the Bears. And uh, really, uh, really played well on that man down defense, but a bit more pep in the step of the Tigers here. The way they're snapping that ball around. Bears are gonna have to try to get off off the mat one more time today. And these counter punches adding up from the Tigers. Tough shot through traffic, finds the back of the net, Chad Palumbo. That's his second of the day, 16th of the season. And just like that, we are even at 12. 
Well, 7.59 left here in quarter number four. Brings us to a break in the... Sends it over to McLean. And matched up with Kistler. McLean on the run, wanted to release the shot, ran into a couple of Tigers, now getting free Wertheim. Shakes off a hit, Wertheim spins back the other way, continues to go, fires it in! Oh boy, the man play of the sea of the season for Marcus Wertheim. Now that was a man's goal right there. Wertheim, through the contact, able to maintain possession and put it into the back of the cage. But I'm going to tell you right now, that started with McLean giving it up there as he was double teamed going down. Absolutely. There's one hit. Let's see how many hits he takes. Two, three, four, five, and fires it home. Ridiculous. Hands that came out to the center for lacrosse and soccer here. here at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. Today, these two teams have put on quite a show. Brown and Princeton, one goal lead for the Bears with a minute 13 left. Bears looking for their first win over Princeton since 2019. Take a look at the Bear Den. They're having a good time up there watching the game as well. Always a good time over at the Bear Den. It certainly is. So here we go. The Bears will place the ball in the stick of Aiden McLean, their leading scorer on the season he has a hat trick today and there's the double team right away the goalie has been pulled so princeton will be ultra aggressive long distance pass by mclean i like it for lock there gets it on the bounce john Fricaro out of the net so empty goal situation here lock peels it back for mclean mclean Stared at by three Tigers. Double teams coming from everywhere. Is that one nearly airmailed over Staten? Staten trying to get out of the double team. Again, the empty net situation. Bears trying to put this one on ice by taking as much time off the clock as well. Staten to the far corner, eight on the shot clock. Got to make your move now. Bean. For Car John Ficaro back gonna in the net. It. Yep. So that'll be it. The Bears will. The Bears will. Take it down to 31.7. Surprised they didn't try to get a shot off there? Yeah, especially when shot for Caro was near the midfield line, but see what Prince see what Princeton can do here. Bears 25 seconds away from the upset. Gonna try to keep the Tigers at bay. Here comes Cameron. Cameron flips it back over to Wade. Wade who already has a couple today. Ball put on the turf for Kabiri. Takes a look at the clock. Final eight seconds. Kabiri rolls around. Terrio the save. Ground ball scooped up. Blackburn sends it up, and the Bears take down the Tigers. 13-12. Connor Terrio comes up with his 14th save of the day right near the buzzer. And Mike, I was going to say, how appropriate is it for the Bears that the game ends with another save by Connor Terrio? He was marvelous between the pipes today and a large reason why the Bears were able to pick